Hello and welcome to News Click's Daily Roundup. I am Prabir Purkaista and we are going to look at the headlines of the day. Unprecedented disturbing, says former Chief Election Commissioner on the rift within the Election Commission. A quick overview of the eight states that are going to polls in the latest phase of the 2019 general elections. A look at our field report from Punjab and how this state has been reeling under the problem of severe drug abuse. In our international section today, we'll discuss US Secretary of State's recent visit to Russia. Former Chief Election Commissioner Davin Chawla told NewsClick in an exclusive interview that we have never seen such a crisis in the Election Commission before. This is unprecedented that an Election Commissioner has recused himself from the meetings of the Election Commission because his views are not recorded. A look at his interview which he did with Paranjay Gautakutra of NewsClick today. I find this, uh, I find this disturbing. Uh, because from the time that I joined the commission, which was when Mr. Tandon was Chief Election Commissioner, we had a norm of meeting every day. And it wasn't just the three commissioners who met every day. It was all the officers, the Deputy Election Commissioners, uh, as well as our two legal officers. So there were, there were always at least uh, eight or ten other senior officials who were always there in the room. And we met Monday to Friday every day, barring the odd day when somebody was traveling. Okay. So I can clearly see from this that everybody is not meeting every day. And they're not meeting with You're the officers. This is not throughout the year, but during the period of the elections. No, I, I would say that uh, this was a very good practice throughout the year. Throughout the year. All the time. Of the irrespective of whether the elections were on or not. Because we were constantly going into one election or the other, but even otherwise. So I am disturbed by the fact okay. that that very good practice, and it is there cast in stone in my book. Okay. Because it's very important to say that all the officials of the election commission, the senior most officials were always there and participated in the decisions. And any other, if there was a dissenting, let us say, a, a position that I take, it was there before all to see. Chalaji, it's like this. What Mr. What according to media reports, Mr. Sunil Arora called Mr. Lavasa. They had a meeting. And according to the chief election commissioner, only the minor minority views are recorded only when there are quasi judicial proceedings and these need to be recorded and decisions pertaining to alle alleged violations of the model code of conduct since they are not considered to be quasi judicial proceedings they need not be recorded let me just say that the election commission the commissioners and the officials must all meet every day in my view that was a healthy tradition started by tandon continued by kopala swami continued by me in my time and i think continued by mr sampat thereafter and possibly mr qureshi thereafter now, what legal recourse does does somebody like Mr. Lavasa have? I, do, I do not know. This, is, this seems to be an unprecedented situation for me. I don't know. Tomorrow is the last phase of this time's general elections. Eight states are going into the elections. Let's have a quick look at, the result, at which are the seats which are going into the polls and what were the seats that were held by the respective parties. Basse Kadam Aur Akhri Kadam जी हां, रविवार को चुनाव 2019 का आखिरी चरण है इस आखिरी चरण में आठ राज्यों की उनसठ सीटों पर वोट डाले जाएंगे इनमें सबसे अहम है उत्तर प्रदेश जी हां, उत्तर प्रदेश जहां से दिल्ली का रास्ता निकलता है यहां आखिरी चरण में कुल तेरह सीटों पर वोट डाले जाएंगे जिनमें से एक वाराणसी से खुद प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी उम्मीदवार हैं पिछली बार यहाँ की ये सभी तेरह सीट बीजेपी के पास थी इसके अलावा बिहार की आठ झारखंड की तीन हिमाचल प्रदेश की चार मध्य प्रदेश की आठ पश्चिम बंगाल की नौ और पंजाब की सभी तेरह सीटों के लिए वोट डाले जाएंगे केंद्र शासित प्रदेश चंडीगढ़ की इकलौती सीट पर भी रविवार को मतदान होगा ये सीटें एनडीए खासकर बीजेपी के लिए बेहद अहम हैं दो के चुनाव में इन उनसठ सीटों में से एनडीए ने 41 सीटें हासिल की थी जबकि यूपीए के हिस्से में कुल पांच सीटें आई थी 
और अन्य ने तेरह सीटों पर जीत हासिल की थी स्टेक विद इलेक्शन कवरेज पंजाब इज अमंग द एट स्टेट विच इज गोइंग टू इलेक्शन टूमोरो द ड्रग प्रॉब्लम दैट हैज बीन देर इन पंजाब हैज क्लेम्ड ए नंबर ऑफ लाइफ इंक्लूडिंग अमंग द यंग पीपल दिस इज अ प्रॉब्लम दैट हैज बीन लूमिंग इन द स्टेट अंडर बोथ द रूलिंग पार्टीज कांग्रेस एंड द अकाली दल टू हैव ए लुक एट दिस प्रॉब्लम वी हैव रवि कौशल न्यूज क्लिक रिपोर्टर हु इज गॉन टू जैनपुर विलेज in shahid bhagat singh nagar which lost 19 lives in a single year let's take a look at this story punjab ke election coverage ke dauran hum aa pahunche hain shahid bhagat singh nagar jile ke jainpur gaon mein hum aapko is gaon mein kyun laaye hain iski ek khaas wajah hai iski wajah ye hai ki pichle ek saal mein yahan pe 19 bachchon ne drugs ke karan apni jaan gawai hai हमारे साथ इस मुद्दे पर बात करने के लिए हैं कुछ लोग जो बताएंगे कि ये समस्या कितनी विकराल हो गई है और वो क्या सोचते हैं इसके बारे में हमारे गांव में नशा बहुत बिकता था जिससे हमारे गांव में 10-12 बच्चे मौत के काट में उतर गए जो कुछ बच्चे तो ऐसे थे जो जो अपने माता पिता के इकलौते पुत्र थे उन्होंने भैनों रखड़ी बनने में भी कोई वीर नहीं रहा आज की बात नहीं है ये हमारे गाँव में पूरे सात आठ साल की समस्या है पिछली साल अकाली सरकार में भी इसे इतना रहा पाँच साल एक सरकार बदल भी गई है कांग्रेस की सरकार आ गई तम इसे इसी तरह ट्रैक जो बच्चे ला रहे हैं Moving on to our international section of the roundup I'm going to hand this over to Abdul okay, in our international section today we are discussing US Secretary of State's recent visit to Russia American Secretary of State Mike Pompeo visited Shokhi Russia and met Foreign Minister Sergey Lavrov and President Vladimir Putin on May 14 this is a significant meeting considering the publication of Robert Mueller report in April this year which alleged russian interference in the american presidential election this was pompeo's first visit to russia since he became secretary of state this was also first meeting between the high officials of two uh, states in more than a year uh, pompeo also stopped at brussels and met uh, leaders and discuss european leaders and discussed iran to discuss this we have praveer with us uh, praveer what do you think is the meaning of this particular visit at this particular juncture see there are two issues really i think the which makes this visit important whether it is achieved anything or not is not clear one is that with the buller report having more or less absolved trump of any collusion with the with russia and russian uh, government in his election which was the charge with the democrats have been leveling against him i think the issue is that it is possible for trump now to take some measures to normalize relations with russia as you know the relations have been strained sanctions have been imposed and though trump did indicate that he wanted to normalize relations with russia mm. have better uh, relationship that has not transpired because he's been isolated with the pressure that he has been colluding with the russians for his own elections so i think that has it really moved far enough for him to be able to have a quote and could reset of the relationship mm. is an open question mm. because the pressure of the democrats on trump is still great they have said muller report is not complete there are sections which need to be reexamined the redactions this sort of the drama of the so called uh, shall we say russia hacking uh, us election still goes on uh, for all of us who have been studying all this it seems rather dubious given the fact that us has hacked nearly every elections in the world and it's also on record having stated that they were basically helped yeltsin win so you know if all of this is taken into account the point is that how long get this sharad of the russia hacking us election really go on to believe that the nsa and the ci with all the positive you know, uh, shall we say surveillance 
capabilities at their disposal could not stop this would seem to put uh, seem to be shall we say make a mockery of what their capabilities themselves are so i think this reset can it happen i don't think this has yet happened uh, or this visit has accelerated that when trump meets on the sidelines of g20 putin or if he does mm. then we will have to think whether a reset might be possible okay thank you for that with this we come to an end of our daily roundup today do keep watching news click and do visit our website